Welcome to Spotlight Cafe, brought to you by Miller Genuine Draft and Genuine Draft Light, taking the country by storm. Tonight's show features a comedy of Mark Cohen. Please welcome the host of the show, the funny and vocacious and always loquacious, Rhonda Shear. Are you in a good mood? Yeah. How about a hand for those ooh, ooh, hot, hot Spotlight Cafe band? Let them hear it. Yeah. Now I know uh, you're looking at me and thinking that I didn't go to school, but I did. I went to a special school for people with big hair. I did. And I took some of those great courses like Lincoln, the man, and the car. <laughs> But I graduated before moving out to L.A. where I now live to seek fame and fortune. I was a former Miss Louisiana. <laughs> and I went to the Miss America pageant and I came out 49th. Well, I would have come out 50th, but Miss Iowa couldn't get her tractor started for the talent competition. <laughs> it's not easy to be in those pageants. It's not. They send you a manual on how to win. I got written instructions on how to wave properly. Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. My little brother found the instructions and almost went blind. <laughs> <laughs> then they get to the top 10 girls. You know, they always ask them some stupid question. They're always standing there holding hands, uh, wishing each other good luck. Bitch! <laughs> 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 they actually asked Miss Arkansas to spell Mississippi. She said, why, is that the river or the state? <laughs> Then they get to Miss Texas, those girls place every year. They get to her, she goes, hi, I represent the Lone Star State. My name is Betty Lou Sue, I'm 22, and I am a virgin. <laughs> sure, Betty, that's why your diaphragm flew out in the middle of your tap dance. <laughs> it was a darn good act, she retrieved it. <laughs> anyway, we have an incredible show for you this evening. Are you ready? Our first performer has appeared on MTV, Comics Only, and Caroline's Comedy Hour. He loves all people, and he uses protection. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Mark Cohen. Let him hear it. Thank you. Oh, thank you, everybody. Give her a hand, Rhonda Shear, ladies and gentlemen. Give her, give her a hand. All right. That's it. Come on, you're cutting into my time. Shek it, Babaka Shah. Jews. All right, good. <laughs> Finding my people. That was my little Jew detector, and those people set it off. I'm Jewish, but I don't really follow the religion. Last time I was in Temple, I was 13. I made my two grand. I got out of the business. <laughs> <laughs> my mother likes, my mother tries to figure out if people are Jewish by their last name, you know, she calls me up on the phone, Mark, the last name Paul, that could be a Jewish name. I'm like, Mom, it's Pope John Paul. I don't think the guy's a Jew. My folks come to New York, they think they're going to see celebrities on every corner. Oh my God, you were great in Teen Wolf. How you doing? Enjoyed your work very much. You work good. Good stuff. Good stuff. My folks come to New York, they think they're going to see celebrities on every corner. I'm walking down the street with my father, he gets all excited. Mark, Mark, look, look, it's Tammy Faye Baker. I said, Dad, that's a hooker. All right? Take my mother to a restaurant, she gets all excited. Mark, Mark, look, Mark, the waiter, it's Potsy Weber from Happy Days. I said, Mom, everybody in New York is not a celebrity. Oh my God, it is Potsy. And there he is, playing tables. So I think I saw Vanna White buying drugs today, too, in New York. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure it was her, but I distinctly heard the woman say, I'd like to buy a vial. So you have to assume. <laughs> The city's so gross. I went to use a payphone tonight. I pick up the payphone. I put it up to my ear. There's like jelly on it. It's like, no, no, no. That's what it tasted like. I'm not exactly sure what it was. I didn't, I didn't go through the whole thing. If you're not from New York, this is the safest way, the safest way to walk through New York City so nobody bothers you. Because people already think you're being waited on. So they let you go right through. I went to the bookstore today. I saw this book, How to Make Love to Your Woman. And not your woman, sir. Just women in general. And I was like... I saw this book, How to Make Love to Your Woman, and then right next to it, another book, How to Make Love to Your Man. Same author. <laughs> when does this guy sleep? That's what I want to know, you know? 
I'm in a bookstore. I saw this book called The Vitamin Bible. Have you heard about this book, The Vitamin Bible? It's a little different from the regular Bible. It says that Moses comes down from the mountains with the ten supplements. Can we have a moment of silence for my career? Everyone just bow their heads. Couple quick impersonations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robert De Niro as a little Jewish boy. Did you cut my pee pee? <laughs> All right, there you go. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it at me. You guys remember the singer Meatloaf? The singer Meatloaf? Yeah. This is Bing Crosby singing Meatloaf's Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Right. Oh boy. Ain't no doubt about it, I was doubly blessed. I was barely 17, I was barely dressed. <laughs> A quick impersonation. This is Elvis Presley as a premature ejaculator. I'll move back. All right, this is Elvis Presley. <laughs> Elvis Presley as a premature ejaculator. Well, it's a one. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, look at that Priscilla all over my blue suede shoes. <laughs> so this is weird. I went, to a, I, went to a, I went to lunch today with my friend. She says, Mark, can I tell you something I wanted to tell you since high school? I said, of course. She said, you got something in the corner of your mouth. Right over there. I used to be a buffet waiter. Isn't that a great job, buffet waiter? Hi, folks, I'm Mark. I'll be your buffet waiter. Anything you need, just get up and get it yourself. <laughs> you know, folks, maybe if you lower your expectations, you might enjoy the show a little bit, all right? <laughs> I went to the eye doctor today. He told me he had the beginning of glaucoma, and then he told me I could smoke marijuana to help relieve the pressure, but I decided to get a second opinion when he tried to sell me a nickel bag. <laughs> you guys have been great. Have a good night. Thank you. Yeah.